What's up, Fight Fam? And welcome to Boxing Bros. I'm Caden, and I'm here with my co-host. At this point, I don't even know what episode this is, and who cares? <laughs> we have a return. The return of episode Ned the Cameraman. Episode 33, Ned the Cameraman returns. TV, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Back. Yo, this is Trill. <laughs> G. All right, the first topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Ryan Garcia's first round knockout of Francisco Francesca. Um, Francesca. What were your thoughts on that, Trill? Um, before the fight started, um, when I seen it, I was like, you know, Francesca had been in there with some tough people. I was like, this is a good uh, showcase for Ryan. And Ryan capitalized off of a, 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 a fighter that's on his way out and in oppressive fashion. You know what I'm saying? The, the reason why I'm saying this because I don't want people to get so big on it like he knocked out some top-tier guy. He knocked out a guy who been in a lot of wars who was, I felt, who was going to get out of there soon anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but it was it was impressive. It was It was good. It was exciting, especially on Valentine's Day. G. Yeah, hey, listen. <clears throat> Salute to the Mexican heartthrob. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he took that dude out bad. And, you know, salute to him for actually, uh, like, praying for the dude in the ring. Damn, yeah, sure. Like, yeah, sure. I was like, yeah, that's dope. Because, he learned from Canelo. Yeah. Oh, well, he learned from the best. You know Because, I mean? <laughs> like, man, that kid is really, really talented. And for his size, the power and the speed, that like, he generates a lot of force with his punches, you know? So, when he dropped them, I was like, oh, man, this is bad, you know? And that just showed, like, good class and, um, you know, good character, you know, the, the fact that he actually was really, like, considerate and, and, and really thinking about, you know, homeboy that's, like, literally in the middle of the ring, like, knocked out cold. So, yeah, salute to, to Ryan for, for this victory. Yeah, I caught the clip of the knockout and Ryan. He's the good. clip. The fight was like two minutes. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> what you mean you got the clip? I didn't see. I didn't see the ring. I didn't see the ring. The national anthem, none of that. The national anthem. Talk about relevant stuff. <laughs> yeah, you really, you really one of the top highlight, um, top boxers coming up in in this game and. That knockout was very impressive, man. And shout out to you for having class, for you know, hugging him and showing him love after you after what you did. But that was quick. Them hooks was pretty. And yeah, shout out to Ryan. Ryan. So far, Ryan got the the knockout of the year with that one, cause how spectacular. Yeah. Was. But the guys coming up and wait, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. Really wanted. And he learned from Canelo. I remember when Canelo dropped um, Amir Khan. Like oh, okay. Ryan's a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? So before he uh, celebrate, he learned from Canelo. Go ahead. How you feel? Uh, Francisco Fonseca. God bless <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Ryan Garcia, to me, he looks like he's improving. Every fight I see him in, uh, he looks like he gets more relaxed. He places his punches. I see him training. Eddie. He shows the love for the sport. Uh, he he's always in there when Canelo's in there. He's watching Canelo. He's learning from Canelo. You can tell that he idolizes Canelo, which is a which is a good thing. And what I saw in that fight was just timing. It was he yeah. threw a few of those check hooks and he didn't land them. He landed one and it wobbled um, Fonseca, and then he landed the one that put him out. And it was like an instant re- reaction. He just fell to the floor, and you just knew it was over. Um, once he hit the floor, you knew he wasn't going to be able to continue. And I think uh, Ryan Garcia is one of those guys who you got to stop. If you, if you don't want to take him seriously for some reason, with his last two performances, the knockout of Duno and the knockout of Fonseca, you got to give him some credit. But moving on to the next topic, Devin Haney was there and he was in the ring and they got into each other's face and they had a little, you know, they, they exchanged words. And so my next question is should Golden Boy let Ryan Garcia fight Devin Haney next? True. Like I was saying, Ryan Garcia is a student of the game, and he has a great teacher in the in the um, in Canelo and the Reynosos. Because ever since he started training with them, he has been a different fighter. 
But um, like I said, he's a student of the game. And like he said, at the end, he knows an order of who he wants to fight. And I'm not against that order. I think that order is a great order. Go after Linares. And then the next he wants to fight somebody else. Then Tank. And then a Devin. Don't rush into a Devin. Devin is special. And I think he knows that. So he wants to, you know, get a little bit more experience and get a couple more of a fighters in before they make this mega fight. The now versus the now. G? <clears throat> yeah, I actually agree with Trill on this one. Um, but I'm looking at it from a different angle. I feel like they're not the, 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 the star. They have star potential, but they're not the stars that we know they're going to be. So I feel like they need to build them, like, first, their career-wide. Like, probably in, like, two years. I think then it's like, all right, we, like, the world wants to see that fight. But right now, you just throw them in there with each other. Like, somebody's, like, career could be, like, devastated because of that loss. You know what I mean? I, I just don't feel like it's, it's the, the right time. Like, build them up more. Let them get more notoriety in the sport. And then have them clash it out, you know. like And then it'll be a huge, uh, you know, um, fight. Ned, uh, I would I would love to see them fight now, but I agree with G. Like you, you want to build their star potential or their star power, but I for myself I would love to see like a trilogy. Like a, a, they fight when they're young because they're like in their twenties, early twenties, like yeah. nineteen twenty. Fight in the middle of their career and at the end of their career, just you know, just be good for boxing. But so you know, I want to disagree with. All of you, yeah. but I don't think it makes sense to make the fight next. Yeah. Although uh, Devin's calling for it, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> Ryan Garcia is trending upward. Devin Haney's trending upward. And neither one of them are pay-per-view stars. And we're talking about a fight that could potentially be, even if pay-per-view becomes obsolete, which I think it should at some point. But um, the world would want to watch this fight if they do what we believe they're capable of doing, which would be Ryan Garcia putting on a few more impressive knockouts against better opposition, um, and Devin Haney doing the same, outboxing, outclassing fighters, making them look average at best, and then we'll see the two collide in a matchup where it would be good for the sport. Right now, this is nothing but a diehard boxing mm -hmm. fans fight. Mm -hmm. um, when, and also, I believe, when they meet, they'll be at... Hi higher weight classes where people actually like watching those fights. They'll probably meet at like 140, 147, and, th and that's the premier weight class. Everyone knows 147 is is is, is the premier uh, weight, one of the premier weight divisions. So we'd rather see them 140, 147 a few years from now when they're polished and developed. So, oh, we might not even see that fight at all. You know what I'm saying? The bo boxing is is crazy and. And it's looking like Devin is also saying if he can't get a fight soon at 135, he's going to 140. You know what I'm saying? Boxing's crazy. We might not even see that fight at all. Devin's yet. chasing something and, and different. Yeah. Devin's <laughs> chasing, <laughs> like, he, he wants to be pound for, for pound, pound number yeah, one. Yeah. And I think Ryan Garcia yeah. wants to be champion. I think mm -hmm. he wants a slower route to stardom than Devin Haney. I think Devin yeah. Haney wakes up in the morning and feels like, <laughs> I'll whoop Sean Porter. I'll whoop Earl Spence. Like, make I think, fight. like, yeah. make, the, make fight. the fight. I think, like, Devin Haney doesn't care. Like, yeah. Devin Haney, he like, put them all in the yeah. ring and I beat them all up. And he's been sparring with all of them since he was a kid. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think he's hit that point in his life where, like, he's a man mm -hmm. and, like, he's at the peak of his powers and he's like, I don't care. You know what? Blindfold me. Yeah. Walk me to the ring. <laughs> Whoever's in there is getting their butt whooped. Like, that's what like, I think like, yeah. Devin Haney's feeling uh, right now. So, going back to Ryan Garcia, he said that uh, his next fight's going to be Jorge Lenores. And uh, he fought on the undercard, and he had an impressive performance. So, uh, Trill, who would you be leaning towards in that fight? I was always um, a huge <laughs> Jose Lenores fan. Um but he has seen his career is is on a tilt. I would say this would be a great test now. This is this is the test. This is the test for Ryan Garcia against a three-time world champion. Jose Linares ain't no slouch. Um, 
he was in a, 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 a terrible, long time ago, he fought Anthony DeMarco. He lost a fight because of his, his face and stuff didn't hold up. Anthony DeMarco ended up losing that belt to Adrian Broner and it's, and by knockout. Um, listen. He dropped Vasily Lomachenko. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he dropped, he dropped, he dropped Lomachenko also. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jose Linares, he came back and won his titles and, and was held his belt for a long time. He's no slouch. This is the real test for me, for Ryan Garcia. This is the real test right here. All these other guys, they, these guys was to me was guys that I I knew that he was gonna be. It was in like I didn't say, oh, this is gonna be a tough. This right here is the test. Jose Linares is the test. So who you got though? Um, Ryan. <laughs> okay, G. <laughs> See, I was about to do the the trill run around because I, I can't call it, man. I want Ryan to win, but this is his, this this is like the official test. So I'm a. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. To be honest, I'll stick with Ryan, but yeah, I don't know. I man. think Lenore because experience, had yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's experience. It's grit. It's experience that that Ryan doesn't have, have yet. Yeah, so that's but why I think it's a tough one. I just don't see um, Lenaris's face holding, holding up. up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's a, it'd be a good time. So now would be a good time for those who aren't aware. Ned watches boxing, but he's a casual boxing fan. He's only interested in the big fights, the big names. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, no, Ryan, no, no, Ryan, no, 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 Ryan, Ryan, no, Ryan, that's the truth. Blood. That's the truth. He's, 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 he's getting into boxing more and more. He's the cameraman, you know, but he, he, he is starting to get into Ryan Garcia. And I'm and I expect him to know Ryan Garcia. My question yeah. is, do you know Jorge Lenores? No, I do not. So you really can't say you you gonna go Ryan Garcia because you I'm just. I'm gonna go Ryan Garcia, but you can never overlook your opponent. That's all. I'm <laughs> Words of wisdom. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew that until you said it. Bars. But, um, <laughs> uh, actually, I think Lenores reminds me of a fighter. Uh, who was very popular and has been in the ring with some of the best competition due to this particular quality that I think Lenores has. And that fight is Amir Khan. I think Lenores looks the part. He's very talented, good speed, good power, but his chin is questionable. His chin's very suspect. And if you can find his chin, you can find a path to victory. And I think... Uh, He's dangerous. He dropped Lomachenko, and like Trill pointed out, he gave DeMarco a very tough fight. And so he's going to be dangerous at this particular point in time. If Ryan Garcia is the star that we think he's going to be, he needs to beat Lenores. Yeah. And I think he will. And if he doesn't, then that's what fighters like Lenores are there to do, <laughs> to separate the men from the boys, to separate the real from the fake. But I think Ryan Garcia is uh, real, and I think he's going to have to prove that against Lenora. So I think that's a good fight, and uh, I'm done with that. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. It's the Boxer Boys. And I'll just say this. I just want to add. Check out the podcast, because the podcast is more in-depth. Uh, we were able to... Be Let loose a little bit more than we do on the channel. So check out the podcast if you get the chance. And we got Ned back. Oh, yeah, yeah Ned's back. You know what I'm it's the Boxing Bros. <laughs> <laughs>